Hi guys, welcome back to K World. Today I'll be summarizing the 2022 movie Christmas Carol. With a plot spoiler alert, let's get to it. Il Wu is an 18 year old with an identical twin brother, Will Wu, who has a mental disorder. They live with their grandmother who has dementia. Will Wu works part time at a convenience store, while Il Wu works for a gang. Il Wu feels frustrated by having to support the family. Will Wu is friends with Sun Huan, who also lives in the same apartment complex. Will Wu is constantly bullied by Jae Hoon and his friends Young Jun and Yuri. Jae Hoon is from a wealthy and powerful family. On Christmas Day, Il Woo and Will Woo plan to meet up at a restaurant, but Il Woo turns off his phone while at work, irritated by Will Woo's messages. Sun Wan waits with Will Woo at the restaurant for Il Woo. As Sun Wan advises Will Woo to wait for Il Woo without taking the evening shift at the convenience store, he receives a call and leaves Will Woo at the restaurant. After finishing work, Il Woo turns on his phone and notices the missed calls from Will Woo. He calls back and overhears Jae Hoon and his friends entering the store and bullying Will Woo. Il Woo rushes to find his brother, but becomes unable to locate him. The following day, the police find Will Woo's body inside a water tank. Despite clear signs of brutal injuries, the police close Will Woo's case as a suicide, and even gets Il Woo's grandmother to sign the death certificate as accidental drowning. A week after Will Woo's death, their grandmother also passes away. Convinced that Jae Hoon and his friends are responsible for Will Woo's death, Il Woo manages to persuade the police to reopen the case. However, Jae Hoon's father uses his influence to send Jae Hoon and his friends to a juvenile center for only six months, claiming that they are already serving time, and manages to drop the case. Il Woo then breaks into a cafe in front of the police and assaults some people, deliberately getting himself admitted to the same juvenile center where Jae Hoon and his friends are held, in order to avenge his brother's death. In the juvenile center, Il Woo meets Soon Woo who is the head teacher of the juvenile center, whom Il Woo remembers attending Will Woo's funeral. Soon Woo confesses that he used to volunteer and visit Il Woo's apartment every Sunday to see his grandmother and Will Woo. Soon Woo realizes that Il Woo came into the juvenile center to avenge his brother, so Soon Woo advises against it. Il Woo admits to it and points out that Jae Hoon will likely evade justice, because his father is a lawyer with influential connections. When Will Woo gets to the class, Jae Hoon and his minions start mocking Il Woo for resembling his brother. This makes Il Woo angry, and he charges towards Jae Hoon, but the others prevents him from reaching Jae Hoon. Il Woo and Jae Hoon's minions are then taken before Hee Sung, who is another teacher at the juvenile center for punishment. Hee Sung scolds them for their criminal behavior and orders them to bark like dogs to avoid punishment. In fear, everyone, except Il Woo, quickly starts barking. Il Woo protests saying that he didn't initiate the fight and it was the others who provoke him. Il Woo gets severely beaten by Hee Sung outside the class and Soon Woo steps in to intervene. Somehow Sun Hwan has also ended up in the juvenile center, but now has sided with Jae Hoon. He watches Il Woo gets dragged to be locked in isolation. Il Woo spends a night in isolation and gets sent to the nursing room for treatments. While there, he manages to steal a surgical scissor and hides it within his bandages. Young Jun, who is one of Jae Hoon's friends, leaves Sun Hwan to stand watch while he smokes in the toilet. He mocks Il Woo about his resemblance to Wil Woo. Il Woo covers Sun Hwan's mouth, warning him to stay quiet, and overhears Young Jun's remarks. Enraged, Il Woo attempts to attack Young Jun with the surgical scissor he had stolen earlier. However, Sun Wan quickly rushes to get Soon Woo. Soon Woo manages to reach Il Woo just in time, preventing him from harming Young Jun. While Il Woo is in isolation, He Sen allows Young Jun to approach him with a wrench and beat him up. Despite the attack, Il Woo remains focused on the keys. As Young Jun leaves in shock after the beating, Il Woo follows him and confronts him for his role in Wil Woo's death. Il Woo starts beating Young Jun for killing his brother. Young Jun tries to explain that they only wanted to steal something from the convenience store where Wil Woo worked, and because Wil Woo resisted, they beat him up. Hee Sang watches as Il Woo continues to beat up Young Jun, and finally intervenes when Young Jun screams out in pain, as Il Woo removes his teeth. The following day, Young Jun gets taken to the hospital, and Hee Sang ranges for Il Woo to be transferred to a different juvenile center to complete his two-year sentence. However, Soon Woo steps in and convinces the board to agree to the transfer, only if Il Woo causes another incident. Soon Woo then meets with Il Woo and informs him about the transfer decision. During their conversation, Il Woo opens up to Soon Woo about how Jae Hoon and his friends brutally beat up Wil Woo, leading to his death. Soon Woo points out that Jae Hoon has the support of Hee Sung, so to bring down Jae Hoon, they must first deal with Hee Sung. Soon Woo sends Il Woo to the laundry room, where he witnesses Sun Hwan as engaging in a sexual act with Hee Sung in the boiler room, in exchange for cigarettes. Sun Hwan is apparently confined in the same room with Jae Hoon and his friends. Sun Hwan has been engaging in a sexual act with Hee Sung, in exchange for providing cigarettes to Jae Hoon and his friends. Despite the cigarettes, Sun Hwan continues to suffer severe bullying from Jae Hoon and the others. Il Woo notices the way Jae Hoon treats Sun Hwan, so he decides to confront Sun Hwan when he's alone. He retorts at Sun Hwan for going to such extents just for the cigarettes. Sun Hwan lashes back at Il Woo, accusing him of only caring about Wil Woo after his death, and not liking him due to his mental disorder. 
Meanwhile, Jae-hoon manages to persuade his father to transfer Bung Chol to his juvenile center to Kalulu. When he seng tries to intimidate Bung Chol as he does with other inmates, Bung Chol reveals that he possesses video evidence of Hee Seng's actions towards the inmates. He threatens to upload the evidence to the internet, causing Hee Seng to back off and disregard him, even when he continues to beat other inmates right in front of him. Il Wu recognizes Bung Chol as a former member of the gang he used to work for. Later, Sun Wan overhears Jae Hoon bragging about his father transferring Bung Chol to Kalil Wu. The following day, Bung Chol sarcastically approaches Jae Hoon, suggesting that Jae Hoon called him over because he couldn't kill Il Wu himself. In an angry confession, Jae Hoon admits that he personally killed Wu Wu, and that he called Bung Chol not because he couldn't do it, but because he didn't want to. Sun Wan overhears this conversation and informs Il Wu about everything he heard. He reveals that Jae Hoon orchestrated Bung Chol's transfer to Kalil Wu, and that Jae Hoon has also admitted to being responsible for Wu Wu's death. During lunch hour, Soon Wu approaches Il Wu, and Il Wu tells him the reason for Bung Chol's transfer. Soon Wu tries to convince Il Wu to back down, and even offers to transfer him to another juvenile center, but Il Wu firmly refuses. Il Wu somehow manages to persuade Soon Wu to help him. So Soon Wu hands him the key to the boiler room, so that he can get evidence against Hee Sung. They also plan to use the time during bathroom breaks when the CCTV doesn't work, and the guards are away, to kill Jae Hoon and his friends. Il Wu finds Hee Sung with Sun Hwan as expected in the boiler room, and uses a taser gun to incapacitate Hee Sung. As he saves Sun Hwan from the abusive situation, memories of Wu and pain resurface, leading Il Wu to realize that his twin brother had also suffered from sexual abuse by someone. Sun Hwan confirms about Wu when Il Wu asks him about it. Wu had revealed to Sun Hwan that he was being abused by someone who used to visit him every Sunday, but not the name of the person. On the day of their planned meeting, Sun Hwan had discovered this, and he urged Wu to tell it to Il Wu. However, Wu hesitates, feeling that because it's Christmas it's not the time to share that sort of things. The next day, Il Wu instructs Sun Hwan to go for consultations with Sun Wu, instead of going to the bathroom, as he plans to kill Jae Hoon and others. Reluctantly, Sun Hwan agrees to it. When the guards leave the inmates in the bathroom, Il Wu demands everyone to leave except for Jae Hoon. However, Jae Hoon's friends and Bung Chol also stay behind with Jae Hoon. Il Wu confronts Jae Hoon about Wu Wu's death, and Jae Hoon admits to being the one to kill Wu Wu. Devastated Il Wu gets into a fight and somehow manages to get to Jae Hoon and beats him up. Jae Hoon finally confesses that he didn't actually kill Wu Wu, but only severely beat him, and when he left Wu Wu, he was still alive. In the meantime, both Sun Wu and Sun Hwan anxiously wait for the guards to return to the bathroom, as they both are aware of Il Wu's plan. Sun Wu finally decides to go to the bathroom and gets there just in time to stop Il Wu from killing Jae Hoon. To everyone's surprise, Sun Wu starts killing Jae Hoon's friends, Bung Cho, and finally Jae Hoon himself. Because of all the injuries Il Wu pass out and he wakes up in the hospital. Sun Wu confesses to killing Jae Hoon and the others. During his sentencing, Sun Wan angrily throws a drawing at Sun Wu and spits at him, but he also thanks him for killing Jae Hoon and his friends. Apparently it was Sun Wu who had been sexually abusing Wu Wu. On Christmas Day, Sun Wan had witnessed a man dressed as Santa Claus entering Wu Wu's house and engaging with him. Seeing the same outfit in Sun Wu's office, Sun Wan realizes that it was Sun Wu who had been abusing Wu Wu. Il Wu on the other hand also remembers a moment when Wu Wu tearfully tried to tell him about a Santa Claus. But at the time, Il Wu didn't pay much attention to it. Il Wu remembers the Santa Claus outfit he saw at Sun Wu's office, and the comment Sun Wu made about how much he loves Wu Wu. Il Wu finally realizes that Sun Wu must have been somehow involved in Wu Wu's death. After being released from the juvenile center, Il Wu confronts Sun Wu about his involvement with Wu Wu. Sun Wu confesses that he engaged in sexual activities with Wu Wu. On Christmas Day he has found him badly beaten in the convenience store. He treats Wu Wu's injuries, but before taking home he takes Wu Wu to the rooftop to engage with him. To keep Wu Wu quiet, Sun Wu accidentally covers his mouth and nose, resulting in Wu Wu's suffocation and death, and Sun Wu leaves Wu Wu's body in a water tank. To Il Wu's frustration, Sun Wu also tells him that saving Il Wu helps him feel like he has repaid his debt for what he did to Wu Wu. As Wu Wu gets emotional and angrily tries to reach Sun Wu, he gets dragged out of the prison. Later in the prison, Sun Wu gets greeted by another inmate who tells him that Jae Hoon's father wanted him to relay his greetings to Sun Wu. With that, the movie ends. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.